There's a saying that I like by Steve Jobs, and I think it really applies to this environment. He said it doesn't make sense to hire smart people and tell them what to do. We hire smart people so they can tell us what to do. Now, I've asked people who worked at Apple during that time when he was there and said, did he embrace that philosophy? The answer I've consistently gotten is yes, but. The yes is he did. He wanted people to be entrepreneurial. He loved new ideas. But he also fell prey to the number one challenge that leaders face when it comes to creating this type of environment. And I'll share that with you in a little bit. For me personally, I've always been entrepreneurial. And uh, this is the, certainly the most grainiest slide I have today. That is me on the right, and that is the person who is still my best friend to this day, John on the left. Sharing this picture for a few reasons. That is a teenage discotheque behind you. At least we converted that old firehouse into a teenage discotheque many years ago. Also showing you that picture to show proof I actually did have hair at one time. When you're being entrepreneurial, a lot of times, a lot more happens, a lot more good happens, a much greater impact happens than we ever realize. I was a 17-year-old at the time, John was 18, and we had two reasons for opening this disco. The first was to make a little extra money. The second was we were two nerdy teenagers and wanted to meet girls. We had no idea the impact we were gonna have. As a 17 and an 18 year old, have any of you by chance been to Livermore, California? Yeah, I see one hand, all right, we got one person who's actually been to Livermore. The more the minor impact we had is that building, which is the oldest one in the city. The paint job we put on it back in 1978 that we won a beautification award is still on that building today. And that building now houses five different businesses. The bigger impact, though, was what happened to the city politically. How many of you have been to planning commission or city council meetings? A few? You know who attends? Just those who have business. We found ourselves, because of what we were doing, on the front page of the local paper, the tri Valley Herald, numerous times. And when we went for the planning commission, it was the same, only people who had business, except for one additional person, a newspaper reporter. One of the planning commission members made the comment that kids drink like fishes and smoke everything in sight. That made the front page of this paper. The only reason we were there was we were 17 feet too close to a residential neighborhood, and they were concerned about the noise. I don't know if you can tell from that picture, those are really thick walls. Noise was not getting out of there. One of the other planning commission members decided to find out if we were gonna be a problem. He came out to our disco, we blasted music, went out to the neighborhood, you couldn't hear a thing. He said, we need to approve your disco. The next planning commission meeting, it was like the movie Footloose. The whole town showed up. <laughs> Any parent who had a teenage kid, they were there and they were there with their kid and they were not happy with that council member. They let him know in no uncertain terms that they did not appreciate how he characterized their kids. And we were controversial too. In fact, Literally every single business around our disco when we opened signed a petition for us not to open, except for the deli across the street that we had lunch at every day. But the parents and kids, they wanted us there. The planning commission member who made the comment, that was their last term, they weren't reelected. The city council member, we, we were passed by a, a vote of three to two, who pushed for our disco, they became the mayor of Livermore and became the mayor for the next 20 years. We had no idea we were gonna impact the politics in the city of Livermore. We were just two nerdy teenagers who wanted to meet girls and make a little extra money. But that's what happens when you create this kind of atmosphere. A lot more happens than what we expect.